You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. My father ran a butcher shop here in town. But business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. You're telling me, not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings, and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. All right. Talk to you later. You entered a restricted... Exterminate. Watch out! Exterminate. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. That's it, keep moving. Howdy, partner! You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. 
It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Well now, it was Mr. House that made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dawdle. He'll be waiting. Those last five... Look alive, come on, guys. Come on. You're on NCR time. Strip secure. I swear. I hope you're doing well, friend. So fucked up I can't feel my leg. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Come back soon now. Where to, partner? Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions, what would you like to know? They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Their marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Anything you like, sugar. This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino. Or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Anything you like, sugar? Why, I'm a Robco? PDQ 88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal or civil robotic security on the market. Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? 
You've come a long ways, literally and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the Strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. What did you wish to know? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. What else did you want to know? It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. You realize you were just one of many couriers, the rest of them dummies, so to speak? Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Frontal assaults on casinos? Not good for business. 
In any case, Benny would see it coming. And all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. I have to think that he found out about the Platinum Chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. What else did you want to know? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second-in-command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families, or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. What else did you want to know? My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Well enough. Return to me when you have the Platinum Chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Until then. He advised. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Wow. That's crazy. I thought nobody has ever been inside that place. That one must be important around here. Check that out. He just left the Lucky 38. Damn. And he looks good to me, too.
I know a guy. His motto is love thy neighbor. He lives next to a brothel. Oh, no. I love these robots with their friendly little policemen faces. Sure, they still love you. Hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Security, baby. Can't make the bread if the bakers are full of lead. You dig it? Don't worry, your safest house is in here. Courtesy of Mr. House. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Have a good time, baby. Hey there, pal. Welcome to the Tops. And what can I do for you today? Ain't been on the strip long, have you, pal? Name's Swank. This is my joint. Sure, kid, sure. I can spare a couple. What can I do for you? Sure, kid, sure. What can I tell you? Creepy bunch of cats, you ask me. Ah, oh, sure, they act all polite and civilized, but there's something off about them, you dig? Don't get me wrong. That resort of theirs is ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. Sure, kid, sure. What can I tell you? Ah, they're a shifty pack of rats. If I were you, I'd keep one hand on my wallet and the other on my gun whenever they're around. Sure, kid, sure. What can I tell you? House is an all right kind of guy. Sure, he keeps a pretty tight grip on the reins, but Vegas is a wild horse. You can't just give her her head. Without Mr. House, we'd still be wearing gecko skins, poking around the ruins with pointy sticks and scalping people for giggles. Man, we're only the coolest cats on the whole strip. We've been here the longest, we got the swinkiest digs, and we got caps rolling in like the tide. Everybody loves the chairman, because we show him a simple good time, no strings attached. Oh boy, those clowns? Listen up, kid, and listen good. I don't care how many fancy Latin names he gives himself, a thug ain't nothing but a thug. Warlords and emperors? Don't make me laugh. At least they got enough brains to stay the hell out of New Vegas. Mr. House had cleaned their clocks. I hear they got their act together out west. Like a real old-time country, they tell me. Nah, maybe that's true and maybe it ain't. But Vegas is a whole new scene. Those bear flag boys better step light unless they want to knuckle supper. Sure, whatever you want. The tops? Yeah, sure, you want the nickel tour? Old Swank's happy to oblige. We got everything you could want. Slot machines in the back, cards and roulette in the front, fine entertainment upstairs in the Aces Theater. And all with your security personally guaranteed by the chairman and Mr. House's own Securitron police. It's the tops. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Well, why don't you say it to his face instead of yapping at me? Whoa, hey now, kid. That's some kind of serious charge you're dropping. You want to be real careful what you say next. Huh. Well, yeah, okay, these are Benny's brand and they ain't too common. You got anything else? That's... pretty shady, yeah. Could be Benny's up to no good. 
could be this is somebody else altogether. What else you got? Yeah, that looks like Benny's lighter, all right. Still, not exactly a ton of proof. Got anything else, kid? Jesus, kid, I think we got a real problem on our hands. Can't believe Benny's a no-good stinking punk trying to play house like that. Tell you what, I'll call Benny, keep him away from his suite. You go search the place. Here's the key, it's on the 13th floor. It's a room with the double doors, can't miss it. Maybe you'll find something we can show to Mr. House and get him arrested. Groovy, here's your stuff back. In case you run into company, you dig. I'll tell the boys to give you a pass to pack some heat. Go on, then. Elevators to pass the slot machines on your left. can I do for you today? Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. He was around here not too long ago. He's probably down on the casino floor now. You can wait for him here if you like. I'm incapable of asking you to leave. This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside, but that's all I remember. Sure, Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Oh, he wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy! I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Don't stay away too long. You're back. Find anything? He's what? Ah, jeez. Jeez, this is really bad. What are you gonna do? Yeah, that's ballsy. Good luck with that. Hey. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. You want a reason? 
How about four? They're called bodyguards, and every one of them is packing. Me too, so baby makes five. Add to that, every chairman in this joint is armed, and not with some holdout pea shooter like maybe you smuggled through security. Anyhow, baby, you didn't come here for vengeance. You came to get clued in. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere as more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. I can't do that, baby, and you know it. There's a lot of angles to this caper. Complexities aplenty. But plenty of action, too. Enough for both of us. But we don't jabber about that out here in public. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. Baby, this is not the place to go talking about that. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Hey, there's the high roller. Don't get too Hello. close to Mr. Benny. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? House was on to me from word go? I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Look at me, a big leaguer, so I claim, making all the mistakes of an original loser. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? You got questions, I got answers. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer I've found. Must require special hardware. It has something to do with the Securitrons, I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the Strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. How else can I clue you in? Yeah, it's a tricky world out there. I'll tell it to you straight. A good cat to swing with. Or was, until he stopped mewing. It was House's big idea to resurrect the Strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. Did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. The robots collect House's share of the take every week, and life goes on. Ain't exactly what I'd call leadership. We're the definition of cool, baby. We know how to swing. Folks come to us to learn how to enjoy themselves. Of the three families, we're the only ones with the heart and savoir faire to run the strip on our own. A tribe of finks. Every single one of them is a degenerate. Mark my words, they're playing an angle. How do I know? They always are. Personally, they give me the heebie-jeebies. There's such a thing as being too polite, if I may this, my pleasure that. Don't get me wrong, that resort of theirs is strictly ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. A nation of meddlers trying to muscle in on our action. Well, we got muscles too, and smarts besides. Only reason the NCR hasn't busted up our scene is they're a little afraid of Mr. House, and a lot afraid of Caesar. 
If the NCR beats the Legion at Hoover Dam, they'll turn on us and claim the Strip. And we don't have the muscle to beat them. Not yet. Meanwhile, they're all that's keeping Caesar's Legion at bay. Plus, NCR soldiers and citizens are our best customers. It's complicated. Worst of the worst. A tribe of degenerate losers led by a creep. They crucify people for kicks, slaughter whole towns. The NCR beat them at the dam three years ago, but that didn't stop them. They spent the meanwhile gathering strength. They're gonna try to take the dam again real soon, and if they do, Vegas as we know it will cease to exist. Something else you wanted to know? Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. Baby, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't done rigging them. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's, it's coming together. You really weren't supposed to talk to him. All right. So, he used to be a Securitron on patrol, square as the rest, until I gave him a Mickey in the shape of a pulse grenade. Once he was on the nod, I yanked some wires and dragged him up to the workshop. I had some help, you see. Gal named Emily, one of the followers over in Freeside, a real whiz when it comes to things technical. She programmed his personality. Once Yes Man was hooked back into House's data network, I started learning a lot more about what he was up to, Dig. Like where and when to find you. Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you was rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. There was a time I would have agreed with you, but this, it's too big. It affects too many people. I can't get hung up on those details. Something else you wanted to know? What else did you want to know? Baby, the odds may look long. You help me and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, Dig. With enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? Something else you wanted to know? What about it? Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs in the hands of someone who can use it, as in me, not you. You'll get a piece of the action and a sweet one, but the chip sticks with me. Like I said, once the chairman are running Vegas, you'll get a percentage. Until then, I'll pay you a retainer and bonuses for special missions. You forgive me? After what I done? Baby, are you trying to make me cry? I don't know what to say. Words don't begin. The least I can do is copy the presidential for as long as you want it. This spirit of forgiveness you're showing me. It's enough to make a player rethink what it means to win. You're 18 carat, baby, all the way. Hey! They killed him! I'm hit! They killed him!
The cleaners will knock twice. Make sure they're thorough. What the fuck? <laughs> 